FC Platinum are thinking of strengthening their squad following their second defeat in the current edition of the Total Cup Champions League. Platinum are fell by three goals to nil at home, but despite the convincing scoreline in favor of Etoil to Sahel, the defeat was more about the weaknesses of Platinum than the strengths of the Tunisians. In terms of playing personnel, definitely the depth that uh, 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 the teams in our group have, they're a little bit higher in terms, of, in terms of depth. There's not much you can do now in terms of uh, increasing playing personnel. Like I said before, we have three uh, uh, slots that we can use. We'll see how best we can do uh, before the, the match against al Akhli in Egypt to try and address one or two or areas uh, by uh, utilizing those, um, those three slots. I think the technical will see. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are names that we have thrown around and we are trying to, to see how best we can tie those players down. But I think uh, after the two matches in, uh, in CAF, the coaches might be thinking uh, otherwise in terms of uh, which areas can we then uh, attend to as far as the three slots are concerned. Evans Mtombeni, the FC Platinum chairman, said he believed there is still a fair chance for Platinum to squeeze to the last eight if the shavani based champions utilize the time between now and their next fixture away to Egypt's Al Ali at the end of the month. Self-introspection was key if Platinum was to turn the corner and start posting a positive result. I think there are things that we can uh, reflect on as technical, uh, as players, to try and close those gaps, to try and take those chances that we create and hope to do better in the remaining four matches in CAF. I think we're still in there. Uh, Al Akhli are on three points. Al Hilal are on three points. One, one win. We are, all, we are on uh, two teams are on, uh, on, on, on three points there. So, so it's, it's, we are still within shout uh, of uh, achieving our, our, our reviewed objective of. Uh, doing better than we did in the last edition and possibly qualify for quarterfinals. Maybe Platinum have also been dealt a severe blow by CAF's denial to allow Mandava Stadium as venue for Platinum's matches, but Mtombeni refuses to take that as an excuse for defeat. The Platinum chairman nonetheless accepted that it deprived their fans from enjoying the full benefits of home matches. Naturally, in, the, in, in our group and, and even in the group stages, FC Platinum is the only club that is playing away from its uh, uh, conventional home ground. That is an effect. You see, BF, it's virtually empty because in as much as we might support our, our fans or our fans can dig deep into their pockets to try and find their trips to Blue Wave, it's not, uh, it's not very possible for us to then uh, get the numbers uh, that will make the right, the right noises or the supported BF. So that one is a, is a challenge in terms of, uh, of uh, the 12th men. If we at Mandawa Stadium, I think we could be talking differently in terms of the, the turf we are used to playing there. Uh, our fans, they will be there vibrant. There is no need for, for them to board any bus or for them to fork any, any, any money to, to fill their cars or to, to, do any, to, to use any money to, to come to BF. All hope is not lost. Mathematically, there still remains a fairly good chance for the last eight, but that all depends on what they do or is it not to between now and the time they play Al Ali month end? For Pure Platinum Television in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimbra.